What is up my Roger Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay but today guys what I want to talk to you all about is the Modern Warfare Battle Royale that's going to be named Warzone. So of course when you boot up Modern Warfare now on your home screen or the kind of the main menu of Call of Duty Modern Warfare you'll actually see this. So before we just had campaign, multiplayer, co-op and the store and now between the multiplayer and the co-op modes we actually have a new mode that is named for now classified however we know this to be called Warzone. So people are actually saying that both Raven Software and Infinity Ward are co-developing Warzone so people are also saying that around March is when we will be getting the adver the marketing and advertising for the battle royale game mode and it will come out then as well and of course this week some youtubers seemingly are being flown out to play an early version of the battle royale now w warzone will be free to play yes you heard it right free to play so people who have already got modern warfare you'll get another update that you'll have to download and I'm presuming it's not going to be as big as the last one which was 60 gigabytes I think it was or 50 something like that so for anyone who actually hasn't got the game then you can download the game and this might be 60 gigabytes I'm not really sure how much it's going to be but it'll be it'll be it'll be enough anyway and there is going to be a battle pass in the war zone and if you want there will be a part to actually buy a copy of the whole game which will give you of course the campaign, the multiplayer and the co-op. So with this free price tag, tag, Activision wants to be able to get more players onto the game and maybe more players to even be like, oh hey, I actually really like this game, maybe I will buy the multiplayer and the campaign and the co-op. And another thing with Warzone being a separate entity, People are also saying that this could be something that Infinity Ward or even Raven Software could continue to work on in the future, adding things to it, to basically it's going to be its own standalone thing and you actually don't need Modern Warfare to play it. So this was what we all thought uh, Black Ops 4 Blackout was going to be, however that did not happen and I feel Black Blackout could have been a even more massive success than it was just like Fortnite if it was a standalone thing and it was for free because that shit was just so 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 good so Infinity Ward will be constantly adding things to Warzone bringing in the soft reboot that Infinity Ward has done of the Modern Warfare franchise and we could see them doing things in the future so like this has been a standalone then we could see other modern warfare 2 if that's the next one to come out by infinity war then we could see some people coming from that so the only other free thing that has a massive like has been really really massive for activision is actually call of duty mobile which has over a hundred million downloads in its first two months which is just absolutely crazy when you think about it. so activision has been making a shit ton of money off the microtransactions and with warzone going to have battle pass which i find it will probably cost a tenner or whatever it is for cod points and you know it could be okay so a bit about warzone for people who don't remember there's going to be plunder which you can use to buy kill streaks. of course. All kill streaks are going to be the ones that are already in Modern Warfare. We'll also have vehicles in the game and Gulag which for anyone that doesn't know is where you 1v1 someone else who has died and you actually basically just fight to get back to your team. So Warzone will now be able to hold 200 players. That's more than any other Battle Royale game and any battle royale game that is out on the market right now now of course there will be a training course as well which you will have to complete first which i understand infinity war putting this in but still it 
think like most people have already played battle royale games and know how to play it so once you've actually done the training course you will have the option to play solo duos maybe trios and squads so this is kind of weird because apex legends has trios and it's really annoying if you got like friends who have the game as well and you want to play it and they want to play with you or you want to play with them but can this option really be in it because to me this option seems really stupid and teams of three won't really make sense if the player count is 200 like the whole like 200 players all in trios will not work because you'll have some in trios and then you'll have at least one that will be a duo team because three doesn't go in evenly to 200 and all this bullshit I, i'm not going to get into the physics of it well it's not really fixed physics but you know what i mean so personally i think that it will be solo duos and squads they could easily put trios in as well which would be kind of cool i guess but then they'd have to bring down the player account which i find that they won't do so just like another battle royale there will be an option to fill which will allow you to get a random player or players into your duo or squad to make up your team so like i mentioned about vehicles we won't see any tanks at the start of the battle royale anyway and i hope because that would really really kill the battle royale or warzone before it even started which they really don't want so the vehicles which we'll probably see are going to be the atv suv helicopter cargo truck and tack rover so for anyone who has played blackout for black ops 4 then you will know basically all these vehicles because these were the ones that were in blackout now in apex you can actually ping players or guns or health and more this was then brought over to fortnite which they kind of did as well and it seems like warzone will have the same feature just hopefully different it won't be just a complete uh just steal of fucking apex legends now there is eight weeks of challenges already in the game file seemingly for warzone and we will be getting daily and weekly challenges now it'll be good to see how warzone plays because if it's anything like the multiplayer for modern warfare with the skill based matchmaking and everything like that oh man this game's gonna suck so bad like modern warfare sucks because of the skill based matchmaking and just campers and internet connection is just shit i'm not gonna go on a rant okay i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it but yeah this is the end of the video guys i hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you want to check out any of my uh twitch well if you want to check out my twitch link will be in down in the description below once you're there you can hit the follow and you can hit the notification bell and i'll try and live stream every now and then hopefully i can live stream a bit more and you know i don't know i hope this game will be good because this is kind of the only thing i'm gonna really be playing with my friends to be fair because most of my other friends aren't really playing modern warfare anymore because they don't really like it which i don't blame them because it's not great but i just want to play it because i have nothing else really to play but yeah that's it guys and peace